everyone. Welcome to Happy Hour with Ali. I'm Ali, and today we are at Sun Ching Day Cafe, located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Sun Ching Day Cafe is a Hong Kong style cafe, uh, which is the kind of Chinese fusion food that I crave on cold, miserable, rainy days such as this. And here I've got drinks. I've got the hot and cold versions of the Hong Kong style milk tea. I am going to try the cold one first. Cold one already comes slightly sweetened. Mm, really hits the spot. I love that you get so much flavor of the tea and not just milk. All right, time for the hot version. Ah, this on a cold, miserable, rainy day, it just like warms you from the heart. I'm so in love with the hot version of the Hong Kong milk tea. I actually think there is very little difference between these two. Conventionally, some places will make the iced version with condensed milk, which is a lot sweeter. But this is actually not very sweet at all. So I think they use evaporated milk, which I like. The milk flavor is not so overpowering. So the tea flavor really comes through. Yeah. Okay, our food has already arrived. I love it when the food comes real fast. Here, I've got black pepper steak and a deep fried fish fillet served with a generous helping of spaghetti. This is probably my favorite fusion dish. It's a perfect blend of Western and Asian elements. And then over here, this is the other thing that we've ordered, is a gratin. Let's dig in. I'm gonna start with the fried stuff first. The fish. I see the crust is quite crunchy on the outside as I was cutting it. And now I'm just dipping it in the tartar sauce. Come to mama. Mm. The fish fillet on the outside, the crumb part has been fried to a golden crisp, a super fragrant as you bite into it, the inside is nice and soft and flaky. And that tartar sauce provides just the right amount of sweetness and acidity to balance it all out. Mm. Nice. Now we're moving on to the steak. Oh, time for the taste test. Mm. For me, this steak it's just right. It's actually not too thick. It's thin, it's cooked through. However, still very, very tender. None of that tough chewiness of bad steaks. The black pepper sauce just elevates it to a different level. That nice, savory, peppery, hot taste. The meat is actually cooked quite well, but still tender and juicy. Mm. Now, I know like Italians watching this would probably be like shocked and horrified that people would do spaghetti like this. But to me, the spaghetti makes the meal. The spaghetti with the black pepper sauce. Mm. Mm. I love this. This is what I was craving. The spaghetti. This is Chinese fusion comfort food, okay? It's not al dente at all. It's nice and soft, and it just sucks up all that black pepper goodness. Mmm, so good. I can just eat the spaghetti by itself, honestly. All right, gratin. Digging into these things is always like opening up a present. Let's go. So, ooh, right here on top, I think I have a piece of pork. It's either pork or chicken. And then underneath, we have a piece of chicken and fried rice. 
You know what? I'm going to taste the rice first. I'm a carbs person. You can tell, right? Mm. The fried rice is nice and fluffy. The fried rice is actually not just any fried rice. It's egg fried rice. So there's bits of egg in here as well. And it just adds to that fluffy creaminess of the overall mouth texture. On top, because there's the tomato-based sauce and cheese, so it's actually quite gooey. I really like it. The tomato sauce has a nice tang to it, so it's not just sweet. Let's have this piece of meat. This chicken, mm. the meat goes really well with the sauce. Let's do a piece of pork. <laughs> Come to mama. Mmm, the pork goes really well with this dish too. The chop has definitely been marinated before it entered the dish. Because I can taste extra savoriness from the pork chop. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, I'm full and very happy. You are looking at a very satisfied customer. I really like the food here. San Ting De Cafe is a restaurant that I will come again soon. Do you like Hong Kong style cafes? What dish do you like best from Hong Kong style cafes? Please comment below and let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll never miss out on a happy hour adventure with me. Be sure to look me up on social media by searching the hashtag Happy Hour with Ollie. Until we eat and drink again next time, cheers mate! Bye!